I'm going to be constructing this envelope out of vellum and then finishing it off in two different ways. One, I will utilize a candle to wax it up and make it translucent. And in the other, I will just decorate with stamps and ink. My name is Peg and I call my channel Two Old Crows Mixed Media. I hope you'll take a moment and subscribe. And of course, as always, the notification bell lets you know when I upload additional content. So let's get started on this envelope. First thing we want to do is take a sheet of vellum, sheet of white paper, whatever you have in hand, and just fold one edge of that over to meet the other side and trim off the excess paper. That gives us a square. We will fold two sides in to meet the middle and flip it and do the same on the other side. So we're just folding in the edges to meet the middle. I'm going to take a um, ruler and just go across that little spot and trim that off. That's where the envelope will fold and I want to square that off. Now to make this fold less bulky, where the paper has scored from the fold, we will cut that section out on each edge. You're just cutting that folded little triangle out. I'm going to lay down some parchment paper, pull out a kitchen grater and a white candle, and just shave that right over the top of that vellum with an iron heated to high, no steam. I will iron over that parchment paper. Now you'll notice on the parchment paper I've written the side up. So I know which side I place towards the paper. And the reason for this is if my iron is at all dirty from previous project, that will um, come off. And I don't want to transfer that onto the sheet that I'm trying to make translucent. So I am doing this in stages and moving my, my envelope or envelope, however you say it, across the sheet of parchment paper. Being mindful to always put the same side up or the same side down. Now I have one little spot there on the corner. Let's get that finished. And I think we have now completely waxed this sheet of vellum. So take a look at how translucent that becomes. I'm just putting a piece of scrapbooking paper underneath it. And here it is prior to the waxing. So you can see the difference. Very, very transparent. Now let's glue it up. And I am just taking a thin line of glue along the bottom, which is the piece where we cut that little triangle off. And there you have the envelope complete. Now I've cut that card stuck a little too big. Let me trim that off and we'll stick that down in there. And I chose these roses because they look lovely showing through that translucent envelope. And now for a little wax. And I will heat seal it and I have dropped a couple of pieces of wax. I call that my oops. And I think we can make that an opportunity of potential success. So let's just cut some little butterflies with this punch out of that same rose paper. And we will just cover up that little stain where we scraped off that seal that I accidentally dripped. So this little embellishment here was simply covering up a mistake. And I like the way it looks, so I'm going to flip the envelope over and do it on the opposite side as well. So there you go. That completes decoration number one. Now, number two, I'm going to pull out and just 
get that folded up first and we'll speed this up. Again, just folding all the sides to the middle, taking a ruler and marking to cut off that space. I like to do that because it makes sure my cut is straight. Fold it over, get those fold lines scored in, and then cut out the little excess or the little triangles on each little corner. And now I'm just going to stamp this one. I'm not going to wax it. I just want to use some inks on it. I've pulled out my script stamp, my recycle stamp. This is a postal stamp. And some different colored inks. So I think I'll put that postal stamp right there in the center. And just very subtly with the vintage photo put this recycle stamp just randomly across the entire envelope now the script stamp and i want complete coverage with this and since the journal i'm working on is that butterfly journal i'm going to going to use this little butterfly in a <clears throat> bluish and stamp around the edges with that. And now to finish it off, we'll put the postal stamp. And this is going to be my second oops. So I get that down, fold it up, and I did it upside down. I wasn't paying attention, and now I have that going the wrong way. So. <clears throat> Let's figure out how we can correct that. I'm going to go ahead and glue it closed. Flip it over. I'm just going to add a bunch more butterflies to cover up the upside down postal stamp. Not overly happy with that. I think this orange might stick out. <clears throat> but it doesn't appear to be dark enough. So I'm going to grab something else. And I like this white, this moonlight white. And that doesn't show up at all. So I'm going to pull in another piece of vellum. And I'm going strictly black here. Make sure I get that on there correctly. And I'm just going to glue that onto the top over my upside down side just to cover up my mistake. Trim that up. Add a few more butterflies along the edge. And I think that looks pretty good. So I'm going to go with that. So that finishes those two envelopes. The third is just, I just waxed it and put a couple of black butterflies on it. Nothing spectacular, but here you have three different ways to decorate an envelope, how to make it translucent with the candle. So I hope you enjoyed. Please take a moment to subscribe, like, and comment. And if you choose, the link to my Facebook group is in the description. Come on over as we create this idea journal, which is going to be where I store these envelopes we just created. Thanks again for coming by. Bye for now.